Hey there guys, so I'm here outside with some of my favorite foods. Brooks is probably going to sleep, but we'll see. But I figured I have about 10 items here, I think, and then I might do a second one because I have about 20 food favorites that I wanted to share. These are 100% vegan. I'm not claiming that they are necessarily super healthy for you, but um, they are delicious and new finds that potentially some of you might be interested in going and getting yourself. All right, so the first thing I have is Rayo's sauce, which is the premium tomato sauce. It actually, the recipe comes from a restaurant in New York City called Rayo's that is a very exclusive uh, restaurant, but um, my brother was buying only this and I was still buying whatever organic sauce I found that was a decent price, but once he got us hooked on this Rayo's sauce, I don't think you can really go back. Their marinara specifically I find to be um, the best. This is amazing and I wish I had found it sooner because it makes the meals so much better. Pasta, uh, pizza, whatever it is that you're using this with. Next is Mike's Mighty Kimchi Ramen. So you have to make this on the stove in a little pot, um, but this during my last few months of pregnancy was the thing I was always wanting, um, especially at night after Honor had gone to bed um, in the light of our room, which happens to be a red light because I like to keep um, my circadian rhythm in the right place. So anyway, we would have one of these ramen cups, um, ramen, ramen soups, I should say. Um, and I don't really like spice very much, but I have to say for some reason I like this and I tend to add either lemon, lime juice, or some umeboshi vinegar um, to it and it makes it really delicious. So this is a similar product. It is a noodle bowl, um, momofuku. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but um, that's how I say it, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But it's a, um, this is a soy and scallion. They also have a tingly chili. I think they have one other kind. Um, the tingly chili is very tingly. It is too spicy and the wrong kind of spice for me. The kimchi ramen I just showed you is kind of, it's hard to describe, but it's a different spice. Um, this one is amazing. You can add a little hot sauce to it if you want it spicier. You can also make a meal out of it and saute some veggies um, or tofu or something else with it. But it is super delicious and probably maybe more of a meal than the ramen. Um, but this has been an absolute favorite. We actually bought a case of it because I like it so much. And we also buy those ramens by the case because they're that good. Now we have this masala vegetable dumpling, which I've already broken into as you can see, but it essentially tastes like a samosa as a burger. And as someone who grew up vegetarian and now vegan, I never really was into a lot of those fake meat burgers. And even now, like the impossible, the beyond, I don't find them um, delicious. I think it's the stuff around them that make them delicious and so like a masala burger to me that is delicious. You can eat it plain without a bun, you can eat it with a bun, doesn't matter. Um, they're just super good um, and obviously it's not homemade so it's not as healthy but for a veggie burger I think it's got some decent ingredients. So this is a pickup from Trader Joe's. Another Trader Joe's find are these Thai vegetable 
um, gyozas, I guess I call them dumplings, but same thing, pot stickers. Um, there's a lot of them. There's like 18 of them in this bag that is maybe like $4.29. Um, it's a decent price and it's a nice way of making your Asian meals slightly more exciting. Um, often I'll do rice in a stir fry or I'll do noodles in a stir fry. Um, but specifically when I'm making rice and stir fry, sometimes I'll add some dumplings on the side. Um, and it's easy, which is not always my main goal, but with having him and going through pregnancy and all that we did have going on this last year, some of these items have been very helpful for um, making dinners tasty and slightly easier for this time in our lives. Back to nature peanut butter cookies. They are delicious. They are slightly sweet, the cookie, and the peanut butter is just perfect. Um, I don't really know how else to say that they're delicious, but if you like a peanut butter cookie, these are some of the best. Back to Nature also makes a, um, a home style chocolate chip cookie that's a soft cookie that is extremely good as well. Um, I wasn't able to get that one for this video, but perhaps I will um, in another video. All right, these are the Maui onion potato chips. They are probably my favorite potato chip at the moment. They are just super delicious. Um, my husband Sam says they taste like the Funyuns. I'm not sure I've ever had one of those, so I can't verify that. Next up are these, which is a crispy, they're crispy onions. They're imported from, where are they imported from? Denmark. Um, they're really delicious on anything. I tend to have them sometimes if I make up like a veggie sausage or hot dog. Um, I'll put like sauerkraut and I'll put crispy onions or even in salad I'll put some crispy onions. Um, the other thing it's been really good for is we recently started making eggplant parm and Minimalist Baker has a nice vegan recipe. It takes some time but we crumble these in it and it kind of gives that like cheesy flavor um, that you kind of want in an eggplant parm. So this is the masala chai which comes actually, I don't know if you can see that, comes as a powder with a little scoop and you um, scoop just a tiny like quarter teaspoon in your mug um, with hot water and it's definitely the most authentic chai I've ever tasted. Um, it's just really, really delicious and I tend to give this one as gifts because it's a great gift. It's about 15 to 18 dollars and it makes a hundred cups of chai which is really good. A quick honorable mention that I forgot with the kimchi is the vegetable ramen soup cup from Mike's Mighty Good uh, Craft Ramens. Uh, this is not spicy but super flavorful. I haven't been able to really find anything quite as flavorful as these ramen cups. Last but not least, my brother recently discovered the Go Max Go vegan candy bars. They're a play on some of the traditional candy bars. Honestly, I haven't had all of the traditional candy bars as we kind of grew up eating very healthy, um, similar to how we eat now, um, possibly even healthier when I was younger. But regardless, there is the Joker candy bar that's basically like a Snickers. Um, there's the Buccaneer, which is like the Three Musketeers. And the Twofer is supposed to be like a Twix, I believe. These three, I think, are the best. Um, I would stick them in the fridge. They do melt, I think, fairly fast, but these candy bars are so good. Anyway, that's all of the food items that I have for this video. I will make a part two in the future sometime with all the other items that I've discovered recently, but I will try to link as much as I can um, these products below so you can find them and read all the ingredients and see if you want to buy them as well or try them out but hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you super soon bye